Hi everyone, it's Morgan. Happy New Year, happy 2021. I hope you're feeling good. I thought it'd be fun to do a little like year in review. I have my old vision board, so we're gonna talk about that. I also made a brand new one, it is digital this year, and it turned out really cute, so I'm excited to just kinda like talk about my goals, reflect on the year, all of that. It'll be a fun video. Right away, I do wanna say, I know 2020 did suck. I know a lot of us went through really hard times, but I do know a lot of us did experience some positive things as well, so so, I don't know. I just want to say I'm thinking of all of you. I know just because the year changed, it doesn't mean that everything's fixed, but it does feel good. It feels a little fresh, you know, and there is hope. I do really think this year can be better than the last, so I hope you're all ready. I hope you're all excited, and let's just start on a positive note. Okay. First, we must start with last year's vision board. This was actually one of my very first YouTube videos was making my vision board for 2020. Honestly, it's hilarious because I was like, you know, 2020, the year I graduate college, this is my year, you know, I'm in my 20s, in the 2020s, like, I just was so ready and nobody knew it was coming for us, but it's no one's fault and things happen. So that being said, my vision board, Things on it definitely did not get completed, but that's okay. <laughs> I can't blame myself for some of them. <laughs> Honestly, let's just start at the top and go from there. So, yes, I titled it 2020. How great. Looking at those numbers, I would just like to rip them off, though, you know? So, very first top corner, I put a picture of a Canon G7X because I wanted to buy my first vlog camera, and that I did! So, that's great. We're starting in something good. <laughs> I bought it when I hit 500 subscribers. I wanted to wait till some sort of milestone. I did start on my phone. So now that I hit 500 subscribers, which is so exciting, I had just bought the Canon G7X Mark. It's so worth it. I love my G7X. I know so many people use it, but it's just crazy to think that that happened in April and I don't know, like things have changed since then. My next picture is this little picture. It says beauty on it. It's makeup. I really wanted to learn how to do my makeup better, specifically like eyes and eyeshadow. I'm okay at makeup, but I definitely didn't dedicate time to doing this. I definitely had time to be inside practicing makeup and I didn't do that so that's okay though okay the next picture I have a picture of a beautifully manicured hand because when I was younger and not that long ago I was really really bad at biting my nails and I have gotten a lot better I'm wearing fake nails right now so you can't even tell but I also am terrible at picking at my cuticles I don't know if you do that but I just like I don't know it's one of probably my worst habit honestly I hate that I do it and I have gotten a lot better but hopefully we can completely get rid of all that in 2021 Next picture, I photoshopped this actually. It is my, you know, YouTube channel name. That used to be my old profile picture, all of that. And I wrote a thousand subscribers and I did meet that goal. I passed it. I'm two and a half times that now. So that's very exciting. And I only, you know, want to go up from there. I feel like my channel has definitely come a long way. The quality in my videos, my video topics, my ideas, everything has improved. And I just want to keep improving still. You know, I'm very happy with it, but I'm ready to just keep improving, keep doing better. Under it, I had this Kate Spade purse that I really, really wanted. I did not buy it. I just think the lock is so cute. It's like a heart because it's like an upside down like part of the spade. So I was just obsessed with that. I don't know. I still think it's a cute purse, but I didn't buy it, but that's fine. I'm, I'm not too upset about it. Next, we have a picture of Elle Woods. I had to include her because I did put some of my favorite icons and Elle's great. So nothing's changed there. I still love Elle Woods. I do have like a bunch of random words around the page. Those are just kind of like inspirational. I'm going to ignore those. Next, Next, in the middle, I have a quote. It says, nobody cares, work harder. I love that quote because it's not cheesy. It's straight to the point. It's like, dude, nobody cares. Like, you need to create something of yourself. I still live by that. I actually did put that on my new vision board. It's the only words on it, and I love that quote. You know, if you want to get somewhere, you have to make it happen. Next, we have this beautiful, I don't know who she is. The username is Candid Lee Chan, and I screenshotted her Instagram feed and put it on there because I really wanted to up my Instagram game. That's another goal I really very much failed at. I recently just figured out how to use Lightroom. I bought some presets. I'm like really trying to up my game this year. I'm being a little more serious about it. I want to do a lot of editing on my iPad. I have a little bit more of a plan to actually achieve that in 2021. Next, I have a picture of kind of like a road trip person. I wanted to do more road trips. I did kind of go on road trips right before the pandemic hit. I had my college spring break. We drove there. That was one. And then I also drove a couple hours to a wedding. Obviously, once COVID's over, I would love to do more traveling, whether it's road trips, flying, whatever. Under 
it, I have this girl. I literally typed in Pinterest, fit girl. I definitely have not achieved this goal. In March, I was like doing so great with my like, you know, health, fitness, mentality, whatever. And then we were in quarantine and then I just really never came back from that. No excuse, but that's that. Under it, I have a picture of Amber Scholl because just like Elle Woods, another icon, I love Amber Scholl. If you don't know her, she is in fact a YouTuber. Check her out. You will fall in love with her. I love her. Okay, the next picture, I have a picture of like a really pretty selection of clothing on like a clothing rack. I really wanted to kind of develop my sense of fashion and my style and I've definitely done that. I want to continue to work on that, but I do think that's something that I have gotten better at this year, so that's good. Okay, next I've had a picture of a graduation cap and on it it says, I don't even have a pl, like I don't have a plan, but like a pl, it's from friends if you know friends. And I did graduate, so that's great. I still don't really have a plan, but I did get a job and stuff. So, you know, things are good since graduation. Under that, I put like a businesswoman because the other thing was like, I want to get a job. Got a job. Great. Next, I have a picture of like healthy food because obviously I wanted to eat better like everyone usually does. And I do love to eat healthy meals. I just honestly need to eat more of them. <laughs> Above it, I have a picture of money because I wanted to be smarter with my money. I can't exactly say I've done so. Yeah. Part of it, it's like, okay, I'm in my selfish 20s, I'm only young once, but another part, it's like, Morgan, you actually, like, need to save money because you have, um, things to pay for and loans. Sometimes it's hard to be responsible. Next, I have a picture of a puppy. I knew I wasn't gonna get a puppy this past year, but I still want a puppy, so I don't know. Maybe once my car's paid off, I can buy a puppy. I just, I really want a puppy. And under it, this was another, like, traveling picture. It's just a picture of a plane. Kind of touched on that before. Whatever. So that was kind of my year in review. That's kind of everything I was, like, aiming for when 2020 started. Obviously, you know, things change, life happens, whatever. I am definitely thankful for all of the mental growth that I've had this year. I definitely have some rough times. I always go through a rough patch in the summer. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like my mental health is always at like a low during the summers It's been that way for the past like five years and that's definitely something that I should work on in 2021 But you know, there's definitely been highs and lows, but there really is with every year I definitely have things to be thankful for. I definitely think I've developed as a person There's also a lot of things to let go You know a lot of things that you grow from that you should leave in the past years And there's also a lot of sad and unfortunate things that have happened and there's not always a lot that you can do about that You can be supportive. You can remember you can be be there for your loved ones, you can be there for yourself, but personally, I think I'm at a good place where I'm just kind of ready. Okay, next, we have the iPad. Once I open it up, my lock screen is, in fact, my new vision board for 2021. I will show it to you and all of that, don't worry. I did spend some time writing down different categories of different goals that I wanted and stuff, so I do want to kind of just, like, go through these with you as well. I do have some specific goals for YouTube, you know, obviously, like I mentioned, I want to work a lot on my YouTube channel. My goal for subscribers by the the end of this year is 10,000. I really have some changes I want to make. I really have some improvements I want to implement. So I think it's possible and I'm going to work very hard. I also really want to get the opportunity to have a paid sponsorship. I've worked with brands before, but mostly free product. And I think it's time to get to that next level. In 2021, I really would love to have one viral video. When I say viral, it's kind of hard to define that. What's appropriate for me to consider viral, I think would be like 100,000 views in a short-ish amount of time. I do have one video that's has 100,000 views, but it's a tutorial. It's like just not a representation of my channel or me at all. I just do want one very successful video. And then I am the worst at thumbnails. Thumbnails are my biggest weakness. I want to improve my click-through rate. Next, for Instagram, like I said before, I need to improve my Instagram game and I'm ready to start that. I want to get to 3,000 followers. I'm definitely nowhere near that. That's basically double what I have now, but I think I've never really tried to grow my Instagram, so I think it could be possible if I try. <laughs> I do want to post more because I like never post. I want to get better at editing. Like I said, I've already kind of started doing things to get there and I want to create a reel. I've never created a reel, but I think it'd be fun. It's like a TikTok and I don't really do TikTok either, but it's like a short YouTube video. Uh, whatever. Okay. I do have some specific health goals overall. Number one, I need to get a sleep schedule. I straight up don't have a sleep schedule. I do work a full-time job. I wake up around the same time every day, but I just never go to bed. I never sleep. I usually stay up till one in the morning and I usually wake up seven or before seven a.m. I literally just don't sleep and I need to fix that. Next, I want to move my body six out of the seven days a week. So whether that's running, whether that's just a walk, like a dance, 
intense. Like, I just want to move more. Doesn't have to be intense, but just moving. Next, I do want to eat less sweets. I'm a huge sweet tooth, and I just want to eat less sugar, simply. I think that's a good way to start eating healthy, is to focus on one specific thing, like, okay, less sweets. And like I mentioned before, I do want healthier nails. I've been working on that. It's just, I am so bad about touching my cuticles and stuff. Next is mental health. So, like I said, I think I've grown a lot this year mentally, but I still need to stop comparing myself and stop worrying about other people. It doesn't matter what other people are doing, you have to focus on yourself, and I need to remember that more often. I do think I've gained a lot of confidence this year, but I need to improve that even better and just put other people out of the equation. Nobody else is involved with the relationship between me and myself. Next. I need to take a break. I just never give myself a break and I shouldn't live to be productive 24-7. I just need to give myself a break sometimes. It's as simple as that, whether it's taking a nap or saying no when I need to say no or watching YouTube and not forcing myself to do things. <laughs> I don't know, I just need to take a break and grow my confidence like I already mentioned was the last one. And I do have a couple miscellaneous things. One goal I really want to be able to do is pay off my car. I did get a new car in June and I want to pay off the rest of my loan on it. I really want to learn something new. Literally just one thing. I want in 2021 to learn something new, like something that means something to me. I just think it's fun to learn. Next, I want to continue to develop my fashion sense. I have gotten a start on that and I don't see it ending anytime soon, so I just want to keep that going. And lastly, I do want to give back more. I've definitely done some things this year that I would consider to be like giving back, but I definitely could do a lot more of that in the future, so I think that's a good goal. Whether it's donating more, being involved in your community, like just anything like that. So those are my goals. Next, I wanna show you my vision board. I'm so excited. I literally just think it's so cute. I spent so much time working on it yesterday and I love how it turned out. Here it is. Oh my gosh, it's literally so cute. Okay, I love it. We're gonna go over it really quick. Of course, I had to include another picture of Amber Scholl. I love her. I did add that picture of nails like I mentioned before. I had to keep a picture of a puppy on it because I will be getting a puppy. I will. And then again, nobody cares work harder. Don't worry about anyone else. If you want something, you need to get it. I put a picture of like a lounging person with some coffee because that's me taking a break. I next have a picture of Ana Luisa Jewelry. It's my favorite brand that I've worked with and I would love more opportunities to work with them. So it's just a good reminder of a brand that I love and to work for more opportunities. Next I have this just like really cool outfit picture. That's another like fashion-y picture reminder like, hey, keep working at that fashion. I love it. Below that is a cozy bed just because I thought it was a nice picture and more Morgan sleep schedule. I do have a picture of my car in the middle, pay that off, and then I also have a picture of someone like moving. Like I said, I want to move more. Above that, I have a picture of some healthy food because like I said, I want to eat less sweets, but I do really want to incorporate just like overall better foods into my diet because I do like making healthy food. I like making healthy meals. It's just sometimes I get lazy and I need to not do that. And then I do have a play button in the middle just to remind me of YouTube because I love YouTube so much and yeah. I didn't want to make like 50 or a hundred different goals because that's just not feasible for me so I feel like the categories and the things within the categories I picked are really great. I have some specific numbers. I have some general ones that I just want to work on so I'm just ready. I have a fresh mind, a fresh start. I do kind of believe that resolutions are a little bit stupid like if you want to do something you should work on it now but I also think that a new year you are in a good place mentally and it just feels fresh so I think it is a great time to start. So the whole resolution thing I'm just very back and forth about but that's okay. That's everything. I hope this video was fun to listen to. I really hope you're ready for the new year. Like I said, I'm thinking of all of you, the good and the bad. I know that this past year has hit everyone so different and, and also similar too. We're in this together and I'm hoping for the best for each and every one of us. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me this past year, however long you have been. And I love you all. Happy 2021. See you in my next video. Yeah.